People came to America generally to do good and seek religious freedom. People came to the Detroit area to get rich. What happened in the 1920s and 30s is you had an explosion of people coming here to work in the auto industry. People do have a very difficult time leaving here. We have homes in this, in this city that are a million dollars, and we have homes in the city that are $20,000. You were raised here, you grew up here. It, it's a part of you. And no matter where you go, this is home. Everybody looks forward to Friday night lights. You know, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Sports and football is a big deal around here. It's a tradition, it's a way of life. It's the soul, it's the heart, it's the blood, it's where we all came from. And they grew up around the tradition. And they see it, and their uncles play, and their fathers play. When you go up around sports and football, I mean, the one game you live for is Friday night against Dearborn High. Something comes up on the field, we'll go to you. They're west side, we're the east side. Yeah! Yeah, baby! We hate Dearborn. I want to see bodies flying. Dearborn hates Fortson. It's them and it's us. They're the better side of town. We're the lower class. Dragon rights are worth a lot more than a trophy. It could be one of the biggest rivalries in the whole state. thoughts that came into my mind was, please God, don't let them be Arabs. We were hit twice on September 11th. Once by Osama bin Laden, and second by those who associated us with Osama bin Laden. This is what they look like, and these, this is the enemy. And what do they look like? They look like me. Today, they call Gibbon the Muslim capital. This is the largest single concentration of Arabs in one city outside the Middle East. There is Ali Husayki. He is currently in an Ohio jail with Osama Sabi Abu Hassan. I see myself on TV and it says, is this an act of terrorism with a question mark? And that's when I... I started going crazy. I'm like, what's going on? His name is Ali and his friend's name is Osama. Of course, of course it's going to be discriminated against. But after 9-11, it seemed like everybody was against us. Camel jockey, damn hero, nasty. Lots of tunnel, just ugly words, hate. And it's real hate, you can feel it. People refer to Forts in High School with many names. Hezbollah High or an Islamic high school. You guys, you guys can call us whatever you want, but on the football field, it's time for football, no matter what religion you are. Knock them down, make them play. Our kids are fasting from sunrise to sundown. They cannot eat or they cannot drink. If you want to call that as a challenge, yes, that is a challenge. As a family, you pick each other up. We are very proud to be Muslim, we are very proud to be Arab. We are very proud to be American. One, two, three, family! Fasting the Ramadan will get you mentally strong. If you can do it, it means you can do anything. We are the luckiest people in the world to be born and live in America. Where else in the world you can achieve your dream? Nowhere.